U.S. President Joe Biden on Tuesday signed the Chips and Science Act into law. The act includes a budget of 52 billion U.S. dollars to boost the U.S.'s semiconductor sector and aims to reduce the U.S.'s dependence on imported chips from places including Taiwan and advance its own semiconductor industry. The act, as well as the U.S.'s proposed Chip 4 alliance with Taiwan, Japan and South Korea, are seen by some as a threat to TSMC's leading position in the sector. But others are not convinced that TSMC is in danger of losing its lead anytime soon. Let's hear from two experts. The CHIPS Act has a budget of 52 billion U.S. dollars, and the CHIP4 alliance hopes to shake up TSMC's hegemony in the sector. But in terms of technology, even in the next few years, the U.S. semiconductor sector still might not be able to catch up with the likes of TSMC or Samsung. The goal is to determine where some of that incremental capacity gets built. We obviously want to get it started here in the U.S. because we are getting increasingly dependent on places like Taiwan. TSMC has plans to build a 12 billion U.S. dollar advanced semiconductor plant in the U.S. in the coming years. According to Daiwa Securities Group, the CHIPS Act could offer up to 5.4 billion U.S. dollars in subsidies to TSMC. The chipmaker says it is currently assessing the act's impact on its operations.